saying goodbye to Gresham, Pal Butte, I'm gonna miss Pal Butte. Uh, I guess uh, somebody else will take over my local legend of Pal Butte. But uh, it's a, a bittersweet kind of move, kind of take me away from the gorge also. Uh, anyway, we're moving to Wilsonville and uh, we've been living in our RV for a couple months and we've got our house ready to sell and it's on the market. So I think I mentioned this before in a previous video, but um, we're moving to Wilsonville, a pretty nice RV place and puts me closer to Salem. So I have some good friends in Salem, uh, Justin and, and his wife and uh, it's going to put me like 30 minutes from their run group. So I'm, I'm kind of excited about that. I've never been much of one to uh, uh, do run groups. I did for a little bit when we were in Arizona, but uh, that, my wife was a travel nurse then, so we didn't stay in Arizona long enough for me to really, like, I guess, get hooked on run groups. So, uh, so I'm kind of excited about trying out the run group if, uh, Justin does. We got my little girl back there. She's, she's not a happy camper. Uh, but the, the, the drive from Gresham to Wilsonville is, is not that far. Uh, especially today, Sunday, the traffic's pretty light. But it's definitely going to benefit my wife. and Because uh, she, she works over in Tualatin. So living in Wilsonville is going to give her a commute of like 15 minutes. Or she's been driving an hour or more one way. Did a traffic. Um, anyway, we'll see how things go. There's supposed to be some um, good trails, kind of like the trails I run at uh, Pal Butte. So I mean, I'm looking forward to checking those out. Um, I just had Pal Butte, so you know, I had my routine, I had my route there that I knew all about. It, so it's going to be kind of nice to explore something new, but at the same time, it's kind of a pain to try to figure out the newness you know what what can I do here and all that so, anyway I better get off here and get over to Wilsonville the uh, new RV park now we made it to the RV resort so try to find out where we need to put our trailer and get this thing hooked up it's a pretty nice place it's definitely a step up from where we were at in, in um, the Gresham Fairview area. Uh, they actually water the grass here and it's like they take care of the place. I might like it. Is it going to auto level? Alright, I'm going to throw my key in here. My wife, Spring. Say hi, Spring. Huh? I said, say hi to the camera. Hi. It's a little tight with the vehicles, but I think I think it's gonna work out. Let's say say hi to Giggy. Where's Giggy? Hi, Giggy. That's Giggy, our Frenchie. He's paralyzed in his back legs. Oh. Anyway, my wife's running the auto level on our trailer. Hopefully, it's going to work. Sometimes we have issues with it. Anyway, I better help her. I'll check you out in a little bit. Well, we got the trailer set up somewhat. Uh, still having trouble with the auto leveling. But anyway, got a shower and some clean clothes on at Zebra. And I want to show you this place a little bit. So in here we have a indoor pool and over there we've got um, bath houses and looks like a nice fire pit right here. Let's see. Yep, it's a nice little fire pit and some tables. I like the way they Keep the place really nice with flowers and manicured lawn. Definitely a step above where we were at.
And then, of course, we have the little kids' uh, playground right here. So, well, me and Sophie are gonna stay here and play for a little bit. Yeah. And uh, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. And um, I'll try to make a couple of videos of the workout center and the indoor pool, maybe. Until next time, stay safe.